evening Facebook Live. We're just waiting for some faces to come in. Let's see what we've got. Anybody coming in? It's a nice evening for it. We've got one person coming. Six feet of separation. How are you? Thanks to the first one in. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I hope the signal's good. David Sinclair's watching. We're in. Yes, yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, we're, um, we're going to visit a, a pit. Not physically, not literally go inside a pit, but we're going to go to the, the, you know, the surroundings of a pit. We're going to visit a railway line. We're not going to stand on the railway line, but we are going to see the railway line at a distance. Um, and that's what we're going to do tonight. Reports of hauntings, reports of miners, you know. This would have been a, a main walkway for a lot of the miners going to the pit, you know. So a lot of people have seen miners, you know. Lots of people have seen strange things and there's lots of witness accounts regarding what people think is the paranormal. Brilliant. Share this video out if you can. Um, like the video, you know. Later on, we will be going on um, YouTube, continuing the investigation. We're hoping that it will get a little bit darker, but if it isn't to be, it's not to be. So, how was everyone doing? Hi, Claire. Thanks for watching. Tell all your friends that we are now live. To the world. Kate Beaver's watching. So hi Phil. Samantha. Thanks Jess. It's good to be back. I don't do this all the time, but it's a pleasure to come out and use the equipment and etc. etc. So how are we all doing tonight? Are we all good? Are we all enjoying our Friday evening? We've got anything to eat or anything like that? Let us know. Where does one go? Up here. And there's a mad dog running around on its own. Shared. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. 30 people in now. Yeah, so those people what has just jumped in, we are... We're going to visit like a, a, a pit area where, um, you know, where miners have been said to have been seen. Uh, we're going to visit, we're going to visit a uh, railway line, which is apparently haunted as well. People have said to have seen, you know, apparitions of men, you know, what are there one minute and gone the next. These are all eyewitness accounts. So it's all good. We shall be going shortly, we're just making our way to the area and there is some horses if anybody is interested. I like that with beige one on back. It's like my coat. Same colour as my coat. Lee Cavill, how are you doing sir? You alright? That dog's nuts. <laughs> Coming for us, look. It's saying keep off horses. Yes, yeah, so hopefully it's going to be a good activity. So tonight, what we want to do is we're listening out for responses, what a miner might say. We're listening out for, you know, direct, any direct response to questions. We're looking forward to catching anything on camera. So if you guys see anything in, in the background, you know, what you think is a little bit weird, screenshot it and send it to the page. I'm always, I might not be able to respond to everybody, but if you send them me, no doubt I will look at them and, you know, we can discuss it, you know, but I do get, tend to get a lots and lots of screenshots sent to me and it's quite difficult to get around everybody and basically it's not me what's being ignorant, so... 
Hi Rowena, Jules. Is the sound good? Can you hear me okay? Is everything all right? So this, I imagine this would be creepy, won't it, at night? How are you feeling? Are you feeling, uh, what's that? Is it a rock or something? Thank you very much. Audio is brilliant. The power of the iPhone XR. When I bought this phone, I uh, I bought it and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, my microphone, my microphone would fit lovely in that. And I was like, I ain't got a microphone, <laughs> I ain't got a jack. And I was like, all right. So I can't put my mic in. Good. So we're going to get the equipment out soon and we're going to, you know, see what happens, you know, see if we'll get any responses, see if we you can make any contact with anyone who's willing to talk tonight. Fingers crossed that nobody comes and spoils. Yeah, let's get everybody into this stream. You know, let's get some buzz, let's get some hype for it. Robin, thanks for coming on. Yeah, so we're ed we're entering entering some woodland now. We want to get a bit further into it. Lost and broken heart. <laughs> What's that? I get you, Alex. I get you. I've got you. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be a good one. I've, I'm, 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 uh, I'm hyped up for this. I'm going to enjoy it. Don't mind us guys, we're just entering the wilderness. Uneven terrain. It is uneven <laughs> terrain. I hope you're wearing your boots. I am wearing my boots. So we're going to get mucky mind them, you know. Adjust my toe. Have to get some black boot polish around them. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the surroundings anyway. This is where we are. I'm sure, you know, there's... I've not researched it, but I'm sure, no doubt, every woodland has it has its suicides, and God bless the souls, etc., etc. So we are trying to make contact with these miners. This is I want to get to the bottom of the miners. What's been seen? This pit where we're at, you know, suffered. I'm not quite sure the date. If anybody can Google it, but I know that there was a massive explosion at this pit, which um, which killed 60 people, top of my head. So, you know, the last time I was here with uh, Ghost of Britain, Lee, at least here in Lindsay, um, we got an exceptional EVP, um, Jeffrey. If you, I don't know if you guys can remember that, it's from um, November uh, last year. We're absolutely Baltically cold and freezing. But the summer is here and we're, we're enjoying it, it's good. We're all here, 55 people. Just to let people know that, you know, we will be going on to YouTube later and continuing this investigation. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of low light so you guys can have a good scout round in the background but not all ghosts come out at night they're always around us if there is such thing as a ghost there is all they're all around us all the time so they should be able to speak during the day not all the night 
and also ghosts don't need to uh, come out when there's night vision I'm a big believer that we don't have to investigate in night vision all the time because you know a ghost sensitive to the night vision is this what we're trying to say or is it just a cliche because this is what all the ghost shows use you know I could be talking absolute it might be the case you know night vision might be might be the way to go but I tried to get out of that cliche of the night vision so over there is the pit and we're on the floor but where we are now is a lot of workers would have walked this way as a shortcut to enter the pit to go to work covered in flies I think they're trying to assess something so thanks for coming on I don't know where the chat's gone it just seems to have disappeared are we even still live? so the chat's disappeared so let's hope we're still alive we're entering to some woodland now, so I think this might be a good, get out the way, get out from where people will be walking their dogs, etc. Let's not make this as awkward as it can be. You know, somebody walking their dog and you're just seeing a guy talking to himself. You know, it might get a little bit weird. But thank you so much for coming on guys, thank you. It means a lot. So this is where we are now. We're following the beaten path. How creepy would they be at night? I wanna know what that box is over there. Would you camp out in that? Um, in a tent? Mm, on your own? Not on my own. There's a guy called um, Ian Lawrence, and he's like, a, he's a well bang into his um, paranormal. And he, he, uh, I told you, didn't I? I told you. Um, the guy what heard the, the, the child around the tent on yep. that night. Find a good spot. Let's hope the signal's good. Where's this chat gone here? Smells like wild ground. It's there, look, I knocked it off. I knocked it off. Hi Lynn. How are we doing? Hi Mandy. Hi Chrissy. Good stuff. We are we just, we are gonna get going, don't worry, we're just walking into the uh, you know into the heartland. Wild garlic. Mm. Can you eat it? Can you not smell it? I can smell it. I can mm. smell some it, yeah. This is I've been working in it as well all day. I've, oh, is it <laughs> where you work? Is it in the middle of yeah. nowhere? If there's any spirits here willing to communicate. I mean, you know, disrespect. I'm just trying to get your attention. If anybody is here, I like it here. This is where we'll go. Do not be afraid. And I've nearly brought my neck. So this is all good. This is good. I like it. I like it here. This is good. I've got a good feeling about this. Got a good feeling. This is Carla, by the way. Yeah, so yeah, she's uh, well into a paranormal. Yes. She just had a camera thrown in her face. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's had very numerous um, paranormal experiences. Yes, quite scary ones. Yeah. Bed being lifted up, shook, things like that. So a little bit sensitive to stuff. So it'd be quite interesting to see if anything comes forward, maybe. That's what we're here to see. We want these miners. This is what we want. We want the miners to come through. We want to um, 
yeah this is what we've seen this is what we've got so we need to um make contact so i'll grab that off you now because we don't need it i'm literally making a carry everything one thing you need to know guys when people come out and investigate with me you have to be prepared to you carry all my away, stuff basically. because anybody who's been out investigated will know that you what will be my um assistant and you will carry everything so Right, here we go. Can you put that in your pocket anyway? Or your purse? Possibly go in there, all right. It should be all right, that. Yeah. And uh, just swap this, yeah, so. Do you want to talk or do you want to swap it around? I'll swap it around, I'll, <laughs> let, you do some, I'll let you do some talking. Yeah, uh, we'll do some talking, all right? I can do some talking, can't I? Right, we've switched it around. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So what we're going to do, guys, is... Can you see me? Oh, yeah. yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to use some spirit box, we're going to use some ovulus, paratech, um, melmeter for any hits in EMF, because ghosts are apparently made up of this energy. So we're only going... Hi, by, Lorraine. We're only going by what people have said and research and if we find anything out new that is also a bonus turn the millimeter on so anybody unfamiliar with this device if you if, if you've ever seen ghost adventures or if you've ever seen most haunted i don't know if most haunted use this or not but mainly ghost like you know ghost hunters taps you know zach bagans use this basically it's just an emf meter you get readings and how much emf is be, is there present also it's something called a rem which uh, we will turn on so if there is a hit of emf that's right that will alarm so that's how far we need to get around the antenna we also have got temperature readings as well so if any temperature drops suddenly, this could be paranormal. So we've not got a spike yet. So if there's anybody here, my name's Phil. I welcome you to talk to me if you can. Do not be afraid. Walk towards us, feel our energy and walk towards and talk to us, please. We believe that there are spirits of miners who walk this path as a shortcut to the nearby pit. People have said to have seen you walking as though you're still going to work, as though you're still in a loop, still looking at a repetitive pattern. Are you still going to work? Is this the case? Walk towards us and what we want to do is talk to you, okay? We mean you no harm, we mean you no disrespect, we're just only here to, make you, to talk to you basically. That's all we want to do. If you've got any messages for anyone, any names, daughters, wives, anybody, we're here to give you a voice. Okay? Do not be afraid. My name is Phil, this is Carla. Nice to meet you. Right. Jacket's just not close, is it? <laughs> well. How many people in the chat now do we know?
Okay, how are you feeling, Carla? You're okay? Fine, Not absolutely fine. Weird or not like that, or? No, feeling pretty, what? pretty good at the moment. The thing is, if we keep... If we came out here at night, it would have been a completely different experience. Yeah. Would, every sound we would have hear, heard, basically, in the night. Because we've come in the day, we, we were quite confident. So, this is why, in theory, I would love to do like a really all-night stream, you know, kind of thing. So, you know, so we can really embrace if there's anybody here, you know. Or maybe I'm talking a load of, you know. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start, guys. We're going to get this investigation going. We're going to use the spirit box. Basically, this is a device which sweeps radio frequencies at a fast rate, sweeping constantly, sweep, sweep, sweep. So technically, a clear voice should not come through. But if it does, then... That is considered paranormal. Before I start, guys, I'm not telling you anything here is apparent is paranormal. Okay, I'm not telling any. I'm not telling you now that what you are witnessing or going to witness is paranormal. I'm not telling you that. Okay, so do not ex expect any surprises. Do not expect what will happen will happen. Okay, it's for you us as people to speculate if it is something. You know, is it? Is it paranormal? We do not know that ghosts exist. We do not know that there is, you know, this is why we do all this. We do not know if it's a life after death, okay? We're only using devices, what scientists, well, not scientists, but, you know, paranormal, basically all these devices are created by paranormal investigators for paranormal investigators. So, okay, not enough being said. Spirits of this woodland. If I've gotten your attention and you're with us now, can you please make contact for us? This is advice what's giving you a voice. You can talk to us. Is there a message? Can you show yourself? Can you make something? Oh, something. Leave in the chat if you hear something, guys. This is very good. If there's a person here trying to talk to us, use all the energy that is available. Bring the equipment, bring our energy. Do what you need to do. I understand that this is a rare occasion for you. If you are here, there's somebody asking you questions. This is not something what you will normally get. So if you're an intelligent spirit that, you know, still thinks that they're going to work every day, let's break that routine and let's talk to each other. Can you manifest for us in any way? Can you see us at all? right now which pit we are at tell me now what is your second name
Tell me your first name. I heard some sort of Barry or something. So Barry or anything that sounds like that is it you? What year is it? The guy saying, the guy saying, you know, the guy saying, um, a mic, mic, possibly a mic or a Pete. Mike or Peter? Pete? Can you hear me? Come to us. Do not be afraid. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about something. Let us know that you're here. Your eyes play tricks on you because you think like something. People saying they've heard the number five as well. Number five. Can you ask me, did you die at this pit? Can you answer that for me? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I'll stop that there before everyone gets their headache at home. So basically, it's just an experiment. I'm gonna see. So I'm interested to see what people might have said at home. Brilliant. Let us know in the chat, guys, if you heard anything at all in there. Okay. Can you move a tree for us or anything like that? Can you do anything? Can you throw something? All I hear is the nature of the birds. <laughs> okay. A welcome any spirit to come talk with us. Thank you so much for tuning in guys, I really appreciate it, thanks for watching. So any of people that's just jumped in, we are at an alleged haunted pit, not inside the pit obviously, but we're near the pit where we're, we are at a main walkway which would have been a shortcut for the miners walking to work basically. Eyewitnesses have just, uh, not just, but eyewitnesses have just Eyewitnesses have said that they have seen, you know, miners walking through here in very unusual miners' clothing, you know, made from the late, early 1900s. Okay, what we want now is we want, we want to hear your name if you're here. Okay. Can you do that for us?
If anyone's That's familiar, dead. anyone is familiar with the Paratech, this is a very interesting tool we use. Yet again, it's just an it's just an experimental tool. React. react. Okay. Is there something you want us to react to? Do you want us to know that you're to react to your presence? Rosalyn. Rosalyn. Who's Rosalyn? What connection is this person to you? So, what we've got is Rosalyn. Rosaline. Reached. Reached. Have you reached us? Is this what you're trying to say? Do you want us to react because you've finally reached us? Is this what you're saying? Answer me directly if you can. Are you with us now? Can you say yes or no? Are you using all the energy that's available to speak? Are you touching one of our, our hair? Is that what you're doing? Fear. Fear? Are you scared of us? Filter. About fear. So do not, I am not jumping to conclusions saying that this is a person trying to scare us. Maybe this spirit is frightened of us. Okay, they may be in fear. So I'm not jumping to conclusions and shouting and bawling that there's a demon here because that is not what we do. So are we, are you scared of us? Do not be scared. I might be shouting in a really loud voice, but I'm trying to get all the spirits attention. I want all the lingering spirits that's around in this woodland. I want them all to talk to me because that's what we do this is what we want to do we want anyone any spirit to talk to us okay so rock 50 is this your age you tell us that you're 50 there is from the 50s various people something like that so let's walk down the path in two. Yeah. Yeti. Yeti? I do hope there's not a Yeti in here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll be fine. No. Oh my god. Is there yeah. a ghost here? We had the word ghost, okay? From a random word generator, we've had the word ghost, okay? What is the chances of having that? Are you telling us that you're a ghost? We've had sacred come through, and then bend, okay? So, so you're, an, you're an intelligent spirit, yeah? You're intelligent, you know you're a ghost, okay? This is brilliant stuff. It's fantastic even. Okay, you know you're, you're in spirit, you know you're here. Is this your main walkway? Where you went to work as a shortcut? Quill. Quill, what's that? Quill. Quill. Gateway. Gateway. Gateway, okay? Gateway. Darkness. Darkness. Gateway and darkness, okay guys? You make out what you think that may have be, or you know, gateway, darkness. Bang. Bang. Did you die? Are you telling us that you died in an explosion? Was there a bang what caused darkness? I've had hair again. Hair. Whose hair are you touching? 
Can you can you save colour of our hair? Just pan the camera around. And... Bail. Bail. Can you give us a name, please? I believe that there may be a spirit with us. Lake. Lake. Who are you referring to, please? Number. So what we're going to do is go, we're going to be quiet and we're going to listen to the sounds. Nick. Nick. Do you want something right weird there? Mm. Could be a horse. Nay. It said maze. Is someone getting stuck? I was Hard to get out, out. Yeah. stuck. We're getting like darkness, maze. Is this what we're getting? Do you need help coming forward? Idle. Idle. Now this is a slang for somebody who is lazy. Is there, is, was there a co-worker who was idle? Paul. Paul. Okay. Outsider. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We've had idle, Paul, and outsider. Okay. So, are you trying to say that you wasn't, a, a, you know, very keen on this person called Paul? He was idle and an outsider. I'm not Ben. One. Ben. Is this your name then? Are you Ben? Your name's Ben, and you're talking about Paul. Now give us more information about Paul. Stupid. <laughs> you can't script it. You can't script that. Stupid. Give us more information about Paul. Stupid. Okay, why was Paul stupid? Why was Paul idle? What did Paul do to you, Ben? Can you tell us? Violent. Violence. Okay, so uh, was Paul... Was there violence between you and Paul? Edna. Edna? Now, I don't want to talk about Edna. I want to talk about Ben and Paul, okay? Or we can talk about Edna, if that's what you want to talk about. Is this your mother, partner? I'm getting a feeling that there's been an altercation between this Paul and this spirit what is with us is basically saying how much of a dislike. Again. Again. Now it'll be interesting guys to see through research if there Victoria. is... Victoria. Victoria. If there is anything written down in the past about a Paul, 
or a Ben. If there's any violent altercations between these two people, if there's anything what's written down, i.e. in a newspaper or anything, you know, See, it'd be interesting to know because we've had stupid, violent, idle, outsider, negative, negative responses. Chrissy's just said was Paul yeah. violent with Edna? May have been. It may have been. We're only speculating, guys, okay? We're not saying that this is this situation, this scenario was made up is a real happening we're just speculating for the words given from the device date, um, date. can you give us a date okay we're only speculating what's happened here we're only speculating that there is somebody here giving us a voice people that's just joined in, in the chat that everything we're doing is just an experiment nothing you is win. you win Win what? What have I won? You win. What have I won? You win. Graveyard. Graveyard. We're not in a graveyard. We've had Ben twice. Now, is this trying to say Ben? You know, it's been speculated in the past that spirits are using this advice, but they're going for words what sound like what they're trying to say. So that's something to think about. It could be easy saying Ben, or literally it could be saying Ben, you know, whatever it is, what it is, you know. Device. Yes, I've got devices in my hand. Do you want to use them? We'll be here for a lot longer. Okay, so you guys at home. Oh. Oh. Right. Where are you? Ben, Paul, Edna? Tell us where you are right now. Mummy. Mummy. You guys can speculate what that may be. Mummy. Is there a child here who wants their mummy? Come and stand right here if you can. Understand. Understand. So you understand what I'm telling you? Is this what's, what it is? We'll be using more devices throughout the evening. But we all seem to be in good hits of kiss. Nick. Okay, Nick is another kind of Yorkshire slang for stealing. Idle is a, like a Yorkshire slang for somebody who's lazy. Okay, so do not be fooled that Nick is a name. Maybe saying somebody's nicked something, which is a Yorkshire slang for stealing. Okay. Madison. Madison. Okay, since we're getting a lot of names through 90. now. 90. We seem to be losing the plot now. We seem to be moving away from the original. So in a row, we're going to turn that off because it's starting, to, stop. it's starting to get a little bit random on us. So we've got, we had the word, that was quite good that to be honest, what we've just had. Because we've had idle, we've had, we've had a direct response. And I just had a massive hit. Oh, it's probably off my phone, actually. Just had a hit of... Yeah, are you there? It's probably off my phone. So, yeah, so what we've got... I asked, can you give us any information about Paul? Stupid. 
So was Paul stupid? Okay, was Paul idle? These are all things we only can speculate. Everybody wants to watch this, please like the Phil Sinclair Paranormal. Um, what we're going to say, Facebook page. Please, uh, you know, like it. We're going to get more of these kind of investigations. We're going to, so you can like the page or follow the page. Add me as a friend on Facebook, whatever you need to do to get closer to me, you know, contact me personal, whatever we want to do. Like I say, I am, I am, I get lots of messages. Do not be offended if I do not answer your message. I have tons and tons of messages come through from all different people. This isn't my full-time job or anything like that, you know. It's very difficult to answer everybody, but I, I urge people to message me and we'll talk and have a chat. But please like the page, add a bit of on Facebook. What we will be doing at half past nine is going over to my YouTube channel because we've got a fan base over there which don't use Facebook, okay? So they want to... Basically, they want to see an investigation over on YouTube. So if you want to carry on watching this investigation, I urge everybody to head over to Phil Sinclair's Paranormal Investigation YouTube channel. And if you're new there, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in for this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we can have a discussion of what we thought happened. I know it's not been complete darkness, but the, the night time will come as the evening progresses. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you on YouTube.